Okay, let's talk a little bit about wrestling. The big uh, dual meet last week was Pleasant Grove over Lone Peak. Jared Pleasant Grove beat Lone Peak in the duel. That puts them ahead of things in the region race. What does this do for Pleasant Grove, and where do you see this region coming down? Well, it gives them bragging rights. That's about it. I, I, I was at that meet. It was fun to watch. It was really close most of the way, and then Pleasant Grove just put it away at the end. I think they had three or four straight pins to finish off that, uh, that duel. But to be honest, the region champs decided at the region tournament. Right. So going 5-0 and in region, that's good. That, that's nice. But does it really mean anything other than you know, being able to say, hey, we beat, we beat Lone Peak? Not really. No, I don't think I don't think it helps them all that much. And, and I think you're right. And this is this is why reg, regular season wrestling, even if it's in region dual meets, really is a tune-up. Let's say for for the region meet, uh, it does give you confidence if you're going against a wrestler. But we see it every year where somebody's you know beaten someone two or three times, maybe during the year or during their career, and they lose at region or state. So. You know, I think it's exciting for the kids because I think that they like going up against these region wrestlers, these kids that they've wrestled against for, for a few different, you know, for a number of years or whatever, and seeing what they can do each time that they meet them. But overall, in the team sense, you're right, it doesn't mean anything until they get to region. Now, that's coming up, and that's going to be very exciting. The only thing is I think Pleasant Grove has proven, once again, they're the team to beat in Region 4.